uh, quickly again future projects here I just wanted to show you I bought this these little mini 10 plus 10 watt amplifier class D it says seven and a half to 15 volt dual channel mini digital audio amplifier module and it runs on 12 volts which I have my uh, wall wart I have a couple of computer speakers that we've salvaged and uh, I want to try and turn this perhaps into a record player one of these days. There's your 12 volt in, here's your signal in, and this is your power. You ground it to turn it off. And that other, uh, there is a, a mute switch, and it has a volume control. And I want to do some impedance matching, but it all takes place from this one chip right there. I'll give you the number of that uh, in a later video. Um, right now we're going to test um, the CRT in one of those Zenith televisions. Okay, this is the Zenith, one of the two Zeniths we got a few weeks back. This is the one with the Super H20 Hi-Fi chassis. It has a stereo socket for, a speaker socket for stereo use. And uh, this is the D2460R and we never tested the uh, CRT in this, so I'm going to take the back off and we're going to test this CRT. This has an odd number to me, 21CXP4. And as you know, the 12 inch Zenith, the earlier one, has a brightener. And uh, we never checked or tested this one. I know the tube, the tube cover is cracked, but uh, let's take a look inside. I've got this B&K on standby. I'll, I'll plug it in, let it warm up while we remove the back. Okay, let's go to our heater adjust. I'm on 5 to 8. I have my settings. This is 20 to 50 on the G1 and uh, 50 on the G2. I like to bring these up gradually. This thing's been sitting. Turn it on. Bring it up very slow. It's, I'm in the basement. It's really cold. It's really cold down here. I don't have any. Um, I don't have any power here. What is going on here? I know what it is. I guarantee you, it's our Christmas. You know where it's made. Power cord uh, here. Had to wiggle had this to, to make this connect. I don't have any power on my tester here. There it goes. Oh, this new stuff is such garbage. Our tube is lighting. This new stuff is such garbage. I mean, you move it, you plug it in and it doesn't light. You wiggle it and it, and it lights. Children does not say where it's made, but uh, I'll give you three guesses. Bright way. I know it says on the box. It's 13 amp, not 15 also. Okay, let's bring our heater up 6.3. Some folks say to go up a little bit on the heater at first when these tubes have been sitting for so long. But we'll just take a look at the chassis a little more. The 17D20. One nut shell in there. I don't know how these critters get in here. I mean, there's a couple little holes there, and that's it. The rest of the chassis has screens under here and has a little. TV troubleshooting guide. If you can change a light bulb, can you change a light bulb? Okay, we have to switch out the memory card there. So back looking at the chassis, the tube is warming up. Oh, 
Um, as I was saying, as I was saying, the tube is warming up. It smells a little, well, at that old smell, like something was in here. We have the nut, I don't, hopefully there's nothing under the chassis in there. Um, underneath is screened, and there's a, can you change a light bulb? And you can, then you can fix your own radio or TV set. That's stuck underneath. Oh, I did not. That doesn't look the best there, that wood. Well, that was the way it was made, I guess. Angled up like that. I have to check into that. In any event, a GE tube, Zenith, Zenith, and the output tube there is also Zenith. Oh, I was going to say, I, I, I couldn't find the label, but. 21 CXP4, and it's a Rawland tube, which is, that's a subsidiary of Zenith, I found out, and it has the date code on it, but I'm not going to brush that away right yet. So I don't think this is a high hour set. In any event, let's go to the heater. It's been at 6.3. No shorts. Folks say, this tester never tests anything good. It, it does, and it has. It is climbing, and it will go into the good. Well, I may verify this, this tester at one point. Um, let's set cutoff. That's the main thing here. Okay, we can we can oh, we can cuts, we can set cut off, and now let's go back to emission. It's crossing into the good. Well, depending how you look at it, um, it's climbing into the good. I don't think there's anything wrong with this tube. Uh, I'll go back and check the heater real quick. 6.3 Cut off. Yeah, I'm not worried about this tube. The rest of the set looks good. It doesn't appear to be a high hour set. I'm sure it'll wake right up. And this set, this set probably runs, just I can't tell that at the moment, but we're not going to plug it in, and it's climbing more into the green. It's still climbing into the green. Well, that'll do it. I don't want to... Uh, that's enough for this. For now, so I just... Um, just wanted to check this tube, because we never did. And that's the 21. CXP4. Thanks for watching.